Hey, hey, thanks for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, but you can call me the mother of twins as I help you along your twin flame journey. Um, if this is your first time watching the channel, I need to tell you that everything that comes out of my mouth from the time you start watching this video is part of your message. So whether I'm dropping cards or flipping cards or snot coughing or sneezing, I almost said snotting, coughing or sneezing, or my dogs are barking or whatever they're doing or whatever's going on, it's all part of the message. It may or may not resonate as this is a general reading. So take what resonates. If not, just chuck it, leave it for somebody else. And I promise you, it'll probably resonate with them. Um... Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your comments uh, for the page. Our page is growing. Our channel is growing, rather. Our tribe is growing immensely. I appreciate what you guys do in the comments by way of um, illuminating facts or helping one another out uh, with growing this um, tribe and uh, helping you with your goddess energy. Thank you so much for your love and your light and your positivity that's in that portal, which is what we call the comment box. It really is a portal. So, you know, know that it is a portal and, and adjust yourselves accordingly. I'm having trouble with my enunciation. Somebody might be having trouble getting their words together. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to check in. I don't know what the message is going to be. By the time you see this, it'll have a title, but I don't really know because I already asked Spirit just to give me something for the tribe, something for the collective, for my collective or the people that are um, drawn to this channel so we can just get some messages and get some encouragement, some illumination, whatever Spirit wants to do. I already asked my Ascended Masters and my Spirit Guides and my angels to come on in the room and help me out a little bit. I already asked for uh, knowledge from all directions, time and space. I asked for all the elements to be present, fire, earth, air and water, past, present, and future, uh, you know, so equip me to do this task. So um, with that, we're going to get to the message and see what's happening. I think I want to do a Celtic spread, do something a little more in depth, see what's going on. I'm going to split this deck. I'm going to do it with four. I feel like I want to do four. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to do that. I'm going to just be late. Mm-hmm. Got it. Let's lay them out. I'm pulling from the bottom. I like to pull from the bottom of the deck because the bottom of the deck is usually what, uh, you know, the issue or the challenges or whatever. I can pull from the top, but I'm not feeling that way right now. Then, all right, let's do the bottom. First card out. Ah, two of pentacles. Somebody's trying to balance something. Somebody's trying to... I feel like somebody's trying to keep their head above ground, too. We'll see. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Their head above ground, keep their head above water. Somebody's trying to balance. Second card, that's judgment. Okay, that's what I thought. Somebody's making a judgment or um about something. Somebody's uh, making a decision. Two of Pentacles is out. Could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, the judgment card, I don't remember what that is. Y'all y'all can put it in the comments. Ace of Swords is out. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. But somebody is also getting some clarity or needing some clarity. We'll get to it. Emperor is out. Dun, dun, dun. The Emperor is out. Could be a father. Definitely could be an Aries that you're dealing with, could be a business owner, could be an entrepreneur, could be um, an older man, could be an established banker, I'm hearing, hmm. investor, could be somebody that, that's a um, trader, investor, okay, ah, the king of wands is out, hello, darling, so somebody that's a go-getter, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy, again, so I have Aries twice out here on the board, right, um, Hmm. This is a go-getter. This also is a business owner. This also is somebody that is very sure in their direction. This is somebody that has made up their mind to do something. Um, whatever this is, it could be around the time of spring. This time is timing is now springtime. Somebody that is very um, determined. They're looking in a certain direction. They look at this king. He has his eye focused on something in a certain direction, and he will not might, but will get it done and will do it. Um, wands are all about passion and starting projects. It's about um, uh, the root chakra. It's about willpower and desire. Okay. Oh, yes. The Hierophant. Now, well, we got all the players here today. Hierophant, the Emperor, the King of Wands. Okay, feeling a lot of masculine energy. This could be masculine energy. Not uh, reading. I'm not sure yet, but the Hierophant is out here. This is all about religious traditions or doctrines. This is about um, doing things a certain way. This is about following the rules. This is about um, knowing right from wrong. This is about following. Again, you know what? It just occurred to me that Ramadan starts today. High holy day, a day of fasting from sunrise to sunset in the um, 
in Islam. But um, this is also about commitment. This could be a very committed relationship. This could be a higher level of commitment. We'll get there as we clarify. Let's card out. This represents my at <laughs> the querent, which is us, I'm trying to get a message. So this is all about love. This is what's coming in um, the section where the, the person asking the question could be. So somebody um, is get, either getting an offer of love or needs more love to come in or love is coming in immediately, immediately. Especially when you have the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. Let me just pull these two together for real quick. When you have the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant together, that speaks to me as somebody that's ready to make an offer, um, another level, a higher level of commitment. Okay? Next one, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and it's time. And it's time the wheel is turning in your favor. Um, baby, I'm for real. I don't know why I'm having it. Baby, I'm for real. Somebody's serious about an offer, okay? Look, you got the Hierophant. You got the Knight of Cups, and you got the world, uh, the will of almost with the world, the will of fortune. Somebody's saying this is about time. It's our time. It's about time. I feel like it's about time. Okay. Fire energy on that. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the Knight of Cups. That's our first set of cups. Oh, yes, Ten of Cups. This is the hopes and fears section. This is on um, what they hope for. Of course, they hope for the happy home, happy life, happy wife. I said wife, didn't I? Somebody must be masking. Oh. And then you have the Nine of Cups as the outcome. So I have the Nine as the outcome and the Ten of Cups. So they're already, um, the wishes are already fulfilled. Whoever this is, they already know. Let me tell you what. When you get an Emperor and the King of Wands out with the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune some and the Nine of Cups, somebody already knows what they want. And they are quite possibly on the way to getting it. Okay? Because that Knight of Cups is traveling. Look at his, his leg up. See what I'm saying? That that horse is moving. Look at look at it. The horse is not staying still. The horse is moving. Somebody may be coming. Some hey, somebody may be moving towards you. Uh, person watching. Let's get the bottom of the deck and start clarifying. Get this message out. <laughs> I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Never. <laughs> Six of Swords. This is somebody leaving a chaotic situation, going into a better place. All right. Oh. Ooh, Eight of Wands is right behind it, and I'm coming quickly. I'm coming. All right. Save tomorrow for me. Listen, and because I, I made the decision, let's stop right there. So Six of uh, Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Let's clarify. Where do we want to go? You know what I want to know about first, y'all. This Hierophant. I want to know why the Hierophant here uh, in the um, future. Hierophant is coming up in that future. This is what's coming up. A greater level of commitment. I mean, it's pretty. There it is. Self-explanatory. What we get? Mm-hmm. This is my girl talk card moving on. So somebody probably left. That's probably why they were at two of pentacles energy. This is my girl talk card. This card is about time with friends. This is about moving on. We already saw the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. This is um somebody that is um this card says happily single. And I feel like I wanna I wanna actually look at that, that happily single. Some for some of you, not all of you, but somebody. For some of you, you might have just, your person might have just gotten out of a relationship or you're you're going to get a message about that. It wouldn't surprise me if we get some sort of, uh, well, we, duh, we did already had the wands out, didn't we, behind the two, six of swords. Let me put these two out because these are these are significant to the reading. Let me just do that. So let me just put them like that, that way I remember. But the um, you might be getting a message that somebody is now single with this hierophant out here um, being clarified by the girl talk. And also, um, you might be getting a message, right? Message that someone is moving on. Six of Swords energy. So that's what this card is about. That's the hierophant. In other words, there's a higher level of commitment coming towards you, person watching. Probably a divine feminine, of course. Let's put one on the judgment card. What's the judgment about? What is the judgment about? Why is the judgment card crossing the two of pentacles? Tell me about the judgment card. Oh. I'll take tell me about the judgment card. Boom. Oh yes. So you made a decision. Somebody's taking a risk. Somebody's being strategic. Somebody is um definitely taking a chance um with this offer, right? Somebody's taking a chance. Um, let's put one on the two of pentacles. So that's what the judgment card is about. Being strategic. For, so for some of you, very very little of you, you're not you're gonna have any idea about this because they're not 
letting you know that they've already made a judgment. Maybe if you've been wondering if your person it has chosen you or deciding about you or, or making a move towards you or wanting more of a commitment with the higher friend out here, then this is your confirmation that yes, because um, like I said, for a few of you, they're not letting you know that they've made this judgment. So now you can get out of limbo and, and relax, bro. All right, two of pinnacles. Oh, that was easy. Clarifying it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> And we, and we double confirm. So with the two of pentacles out here, I said somebody's juggling, somebody's trying to make a decision. The mask card is out. So your person probably is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and they were not showing their true feelings. They were wearing a mask. They were hiding from you. They did not let you know. Did not say that they weren't, they weren't telling you. They weren't showing their true feelings, making that judgment card. So yes, they in fact are wearing a mask. So you, you don't have any idea about this. That's probably why this he, these here are together together like this because they're coming and they're coming quickly or they're coming very, 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 very soon. Um, some of you might be eight days, might be eight weeks, but no more, no more than two months, no more than, no more than two months here. I'm definitely feeling some of you could be six weeks or six days between six days and eight days, six weeks and eight weeks, but no more than eight weeks. Okay. So you can wait a couple more months. You waited this long, right? Um, Maybe I'll title it that too. Y'all remind me. Well, how y'all how going to remind me? Remind me what I was going to title. Maybe I'm going to say, you waited this long, just eight weeks more. <laughs> something like that. Something, something like that. Something like that. Okay. So um, this card just fell out. I didn't, I didn't clarify it. Oh, all right. It came out with the Ace of Swords. So somebody's getting a lot of clarity. Um, here, I can't even deny it. This is a masculine. It's definitely a masculine. But they are ready to plan and set a date. This is coming to see you. This is... This also, for some of you, not many of you, but um, especially if you don't have a person, you are definitely having a clarity of thought that you want to meet somebody new. You definitely want to start something, a relationship, uh, just be on the phone. You might have started, um, you might have given yourself a, what do you call it? On the little, um, okay, girls, Joshua, do what you have to do. Just do it. Sorry, y'all. My son tried to tiptoe in it. Y'all know what happens. That's not part of the, actually... Yeah, somebody might try to tiptoe in on you and your dog's going to alert you. How about that? We'll use that as a message. But somebody is, yes, definitely going to try to <laughs> sneak up on you and then your dog's going to let you know somebody's at the door, okay? But let me get back to these cards. So if you do not have a Divine Masculine, if you're watching this, I should try to separate these videos, but I'm not going to do it. Too much effort. Anyway, and I don't feel like I need to because you need to hear the message because eventually you're going to be ready for your Divine Masculine if you hang around with us and you're going to need to hear these messages anyway. But... Just in case, there's somebody that um, is deciding they want to start a um, uh, the singles, you know, like Tinder or something. You want, a, you want a little dating profile because you're ready to get back out there. But that's a few of you. The others of you that are watching, you, um, your person, your masculine is trying to plan or set a date with you. Could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or you watching could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Let's put one on the emperor. Now, this could be a dad, what could have um, held your guy up is they you know they're a father they had a family a family obligation or they're waiting for some business um things to to um you know settle either way either way you're supposed to keep a positive mindset whatever you know what was holding up your emperor because like i said this could be a this, this could be a dad this definitely i'm definitely getting some business owner or owns owns their own business energy off of this i don't know why i feel like somebody owns a car wash or a barber shop um, your your masculine could be a barber or he could be an entrepreneur. He might have a car wash. He might have um, a car detailing, um, as I'm feeling very strongly. But either way, you're, to, you're being advised to keep a positive mindset and manifest exactly what you want. Abundance is out here with this, with this emperor. And not to mention that this emperor is um, financially stable and financially secure. So if you were wondering um, if your masculine has, in fact, gotten his money together or gotten his dream, I'm feeling like somebody's masculine, they were waiting for somebody's masculine's dream to take off or your masculine said, you know, the distance or the, the separation was created because um, you weren't, you weren't, uh, your masculine wasn't where he wanted to be in his life. You know what I mean? He wasn't where he, he wasn't doing what he wanted to do yet. But now, as you see, the abundance is coming up with the emperor. So, you know, and, and this masculine also kept a positive mindset and maybe he tells you to get your mind right. That's another thing. Your masculine might say to you, get your mind right. You know, you're not talking right. You're not thinking right. But he actually manifested this abundance. He took his took his time knowing that he is the emperor, knowing he is that dude, the boss, right? And he manifested exactly what he wanted. And now, in other words, he couldn't get to you 
and and hear this, but don't let your heart get messed up. But he didn't even he wasn't even thinking about this. Boom, this Knight of Cups, offering this cup of love until he got his abundance, until he got himself where he needed to be. So, you know, that's why we tell you, um, y'all don't freak out when you don't hear from them or they feel like they're they're being weird with you. It's not that they're rejecting you. If it's your twin, it's your twin. You know, you just got to give them some grace to work out their, their thing, right? But it's not like they're rejecting you or don't want you or don't ever want to be with you. But in order to be the best version of you that you can be, you have to feel like you are contributing to society. Not only that, but contributing to um, yourself and, and doing what you want to do. Like you are really making an impact or, you know, because some people actually feel I'm here for more than love. You know, I'm here to create a business or I'm here to be a blessing to other people or whatever. But it, in, in other words, some people, their end all be all is not love. Even though we know that the greatest of all these things, faith, hope, and charity, it's it's love. But like I said, with these, with these masculine, especially my, most men, men don't care about love. They care about respect. They don't care how much you say, I love you, I love you, I love you. They want you to respect them. And the only way they feel like they are respectable is if they're bringing something to the table. It doesn't matter whose table it is. They want to bring something to the table. So this masculine has his abundance now. Now he's ready to offer the love. Okay? All right. Let me put one on the um, King of Wands because I believe this is his energy. He is He's not only a boss, but he's determined. And I feel like there was a reason why he started getting real, real super determined. Let's put one on the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands there? I feel like I'm talking about an Aries man. I'm feeling Aries is in that is in this chart. Put one on the King of Wands for me, okay? Oh, I'll use it. <laughs> now this is my addiction card, and but I'm not feeling an addiction here. I'm feeling um, obsession is definitely sticking out to me. Obsession and possession. All right, so let me tell you about what I feel about this card. This King of Wands. This King of Wands is obsessed with what his abundance. I feel like this is the same masculine. I feel like this ma this masculine is an is an emperor. Let me hear let me say this. Is an emperor meaning this is what he this is who he is. This is this is who he is and um and what he does, right? And this king of wands energy is the way he does it, meaning he's focused, he's driven, he's obsessed. He is possessive of his family, things, you, feminine. He is possessive of um, everything that he has uh, in his purview, in his, in his uh, I was going to say possession. He's possessed of his possessions. He possesses his possessions, in other words, you know what I mean? So this masculine is addicted to success. He's addicted to the drive and the passion that it takes to create. This, this King of Wands energy for me is a creator, um, um, very cr creative. You could be dealing with... Um, an artist, a painter, um, someone who paints cars, even, um, someone who, uh, auto mechanic, there's an auto mechanic, um, someone who fixes cars, either he has his own body shop or he does it in his yard, but either way, he's very, he's addicted to what he does. Um, he is definitely married, if you will, to his craft, his job, his, his passion, which is, I'm feeling fast cars, um, money, you know, he's, um, he's addicted to <laughs> abundance. He's addicted to abundance. All right. But he definitely, um, and he, and this card is about restraint. He was restraining himself from you until he got to where he needed to be in his emperor status. He got that, but this is, like I said, this is who he is and what he does. As an emperor, as an emperor, this is a business owner. This is the the drive and focus. I mean, you know what he does, and this King of Wands is the way he does it. He is. You would know because your masculine is like you can't even mess with him when he's doing the thing he does. I'm feeling like there's a trader here. There's an investor. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling this. Uh, there's a banking system or a banker. Um, somebody might be in in, in banking, but definitely in investments and trading. Um, like I said, I said auto detailing. I said car wash, I said, um, auto mechanic and a painter. Heck, we'll throw a musician there. Your, your, your masculine could be a musician too. And so when, and he's, when he's writing songs, you can't even mess with him. He's a, literally addicted to the way he does what he does. All right. Well, how much time I have on here? All right. Will of fortune. Do I want to clarify anything else? Ten of cups. We don't need to clarify. We know what that is. So in other, so let me just nutshell this here. Let me just nutshell this here. 
<laughs> bottom of the deck, soulmates. So he knows that there is a soul connection between you guys. He knows that this thing is serious. He knows all about you. So if you were wondering if he thought you were soulmates or this also is my twin flame card, you know what I mean? Um, meaning a connection. I use this card in this deck as my the, the divinity. They recognize the divinity, not necessarily, oh, we're just soulmates, not twins. That's not how I, how I read this card in my deck. And I'm talking about me as a reader. But I read this as they recognize the divinity or the God in this relationship with you. When this card is seen, then I, re then I know that this masculine or feminine, you vice versa, recognizes the energy or what this connection is. All right. So let me get you some. Um, what do I want to do? Let me get you some um, answers from the angel oracles. My favorite, y'all notice my favorite deck. Oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh my! And then I want to put one angel oracle card on the wheel of fortune just for fun, because definitely the wheel of fortune is now turning in your masculine's favor, and they feel it, and you're gonna know it very very soon. I know that. Let's see what they say. Compromise. Whatever you need to do, compromise with them. So if you were dealing with this this masculine that's very driven, very focused, and didn't want to do anything, including you, <laughs> until he got his money right, or until he got to where he needed to be as um, far as his status, then compromise, compromise with him. Continue to compromise with him until he comes to you. Now listen, here's your instruction. He is going to come to you, okay? He is going to come your way. The Knight of Cups is making an offer, and that knight, that horse is moving. That knight is going somewhere, okay? Look at the wings on his hat. You know, on his helmet. See that? His wings are flying up. They're not laying down. They're flying up like he's in the wind. This masculine is in the wind. Okay? So compromise, whatever that means to you. You know what that means to you. Let it resonate where it should. Let me get two more cards from here because I feel like there's two more messages. Ooh, yes. That's, ooh, and I'll take that one. Thank you. That was easy. Forgiveness. Now you understand. Now you've been told what he was doing and why he was doing it. So go ahead and forgive him right now. Okay, that, that's self-explanatory. I don't need to go even deeper than that. And also ask your angels. Anything you need to know, ask your angels. Tarot is awesome. Watching the videos is great, including me. Watching my videos. But at the end of the day, this is a spiritual thing and this is spiritual work that has to be done. And it's all about your intuition and your connection. So ask your angels to assist you or help you or give you instructions. Okay? Okay, okay. All the tarot readers should do is confirm what you already know, baby. All right? Confirm what you already know, baby. Let's put one on the Wheel of Fortune right here. Because apparently, this masculine is feeling like it's time. It's time, okay? So, let's see. Is this a timing? Where's my other? Um, this is... Yeah, that's a yes or no. I'm not doing that. I need a timing. Actually, I feel like I need to give you something by way of advice feminine uh, person watching um, for my work your light deck. So I, I will do one more Oracle card. So, so this will of fortune, put one on the will of fortune. Why is it there? Oh, that doesn't need to be there. So I told y'all my, y'all my cards got messed up or mixed up. Put one on the will of fortune. What's the timing like? Why is the will of fortune there? Can we get, Ooh, there's another card. It doesn't need to be in there. Look at that. Listen, something, uh, one of these things are doing it on things. One of these things are not the same. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, but somebody needs to some stuff or some stuff is somewhere it doesn't need to be. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's in your cupboard, if it's in your closet, if it's in your room, but some stuff is not where it needs to be. I don't know if these are people, places, things, relationships. Um, somebody's been in your room during this quarantine. I don't know if they're, they're, somebody's peeking through your stuff. You would know because you've been going in your closet and feeling like, hey, I thought I put that over there. And that, but you've been feeling like something's out of place, that something is being, something is where it's not supposed to be. So you take that as it resonates, but looking at my card deck, how do those cards even get in there, okay? Some of y'all are overlooking something. Some of y'all are overlooking something very, ooh, and the dog said yes, right? And y'all can't see what my dog is doing, but right now she is trying to, she's barking under the sofa because she has a bone that, that got under that sofa where she can't reach it. So I feel like somebody is, you know, something is where it's not supposed to be and you can sniff it out. You know what I mean? You, you, you're you now saying, what is that doing there? That's not supposed to be under there. Because everybody knows that a bone is not supposed to be in the chair. She probably wondering how to get under there. Let me hurry up and finish this message before she goes crazy. Give me one for the, um, well, there it is. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. and that's what he's going to do. Will of Fortune, he's going to take action. He's coming. He's coming, Prince. Coming. Right, Sydney? Is he coming? He's coming. Look, somebody might be scratching at your door. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay. It's like you that bone under the chair. All right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated with you. Um, Let's see. 
I think that's all I got. Oh, I said I'll give your work your light. I'm sorry. One more, one more. I know this video is getting long, but I gotta get. I can't. I can't go without doing this. A little advice for my fans. There it is. Thank you. In the meantime, in between time. What is triggering you? Who or what is triggering you? So take a look at the man in the mirror. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. See that lady? I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. <laughs> na, 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 na. So check yourself. Look in the mirror. What or who is triggering you or who or what is triggering you? If something is triggering you, get rid of that. That's what you're working on so that doorbell rings or that text message comes or that call comes. But according to these cards right now, somebody's going to make an offer and they're coming towards you. Quickly. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other until we meet again. Bye.